Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am all dressed up in my kurta pajama because it's Eid and festival time is just like my favorite time. You get to eat amazing food, which I already did. I already had my biryani by the way. And you get to dress up in amazing Indian outfits and wear amazing jewelry and get play dress up, do your makeup and all of that. So I enjoy everything about festivals. <laughs> so um well it's a boring sunday here in the united states but um i just thought i'll get into the feel of it and making a video and enjoying eat with all of you so let's get right into it okay so now i'm close to the camera and i am just assessing my face i have moisturized my face so the next thing i'm going to do is the standard i'm going to be priming my face with the hourglass mineral veil uh, primer Next, I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer around my eye. So I'm going to take my Born This Way concealer and this is in the shade Light Beige. So I'm just going to apply this a little bit and not too much right now because I want to do my eyes first and then I'm going to apply the base, the face, uh, base. Uh, uh, I'm going to prepare the base after I do my eyes because I'm expecting a bit of fallout. Now, since it's Eid, I want to use something special. So I have the Pat McGrath uh, Mothership palette and I've been dying to use this palette because uh, it's new, it's expensive. I didn't want to use it for, you know, going to the grocery store. Plus it's got amazing shades. And I'm pretty sure I can't wear those to the grocery store. So this is what this palette looks like. And it's got this amazing range of colors, which I absolutely adore. So today I'm going to be using these two, golden and pink and the browns. Um, so let's see. All right. So I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm going to dip into the lighter brown shade here and apply it on my eye on the crease. And these are very blendable. Needless to say, it's Pat McGrath. There is hardly anything Pat McGrath can do wrong. Okay. Now I will dip into the darker brown shade here and I'm going to be using my other brush this is the Sigma E25 brush and apply it right here at the corner so far there has been no fallout which is good so the good thing about these Pat McGrath palettes is I mean, of course, there are amazing shades, plus they are super creamy, super pigmented. And, and I'm going to be doing another video just about Pat McGrath soon because I love her products, of course. I have the lipsticks and glosses and this palette, so I'm going to be reviewing this. So today I'm not going for anything that's quick. I mean, it's not going to be that complicated, but it's... I want something that's a little over the top because it's festival time. So I'm just going to keep building this. I want that dark smokiness to come across. Okay, so I'm going to stop here and then I'm going to be applying the gold uh, shade, this one, on my lid. And I'm so excited about this. I'm not sure if I need to use the Studio Fix Plus. I think it is pretty pigmented, but let's see. I'm going to try and apply it slowly. It is very glittery, that's for sure. I like it. So I do want to uh, use my finger actually but these are super glittery and my fingers will all become glittery and I don't want that because I have to apply my entire makeup so I'm just gonna keep doing it with my brush for now and I think I've built up quite a lot I think um, but we'll come back to it if you want some more 
for now, I think this is a good stopping point. Now, I do see there is a certain patchiness here and I want that to go away plus the glitter is going on top and I just want it to go away. So I'm just gonna first go back to the go back to the light brown shade this one and kind of apply it on top and blend all of this out. And then take the darker brown and apply it all over it again. Now I have this thinner brush and I'm gonna, I want this to be a little more darker. So I'll dip into this purple shade. It's actually a dark purple, so it kind of looks like a little blackish, but not really black. So I'll apply it here, the corner, absolute corner of the eye. And then I'm going to take it to the crease. And then do the same for the other eye. I'm just going to take a slightly cleaner brush and just blend it all out so that it doesn't go up. And that's the great thing about these this palette. It just blends everything pretty easily. So even if you make a mistake, it's just easily rectifiable. I do want to apply the pink shade here. And just this is just so just to add a little bit of spark, some more sparkle to the eye because I'm looking for that extra shimmery eye here so let's see if this brush works with it i think it should so it's like a pink flakes um, i hope the camera catches it you can see the difference yes i think it just adds a lot of shimmer and i'll just keep cleaning the glitter off from going too high and then it's a beautiful shade, the pink. And here as well. So now, I mean, uh, it's not visible, I think, on the camera, but I did see that there is some fallout. So I'm just going to wipe all of that off from the face and I'll just check one more time I think yeah there is a bit of shimmer on the face but I think that's okay it'll cover up the concealer will cover it up okay so now I'm just gonna do my face so for that I will first um, apply some foundation so today I'm gonna be using my Lancome uh, foundation and this is in the shade 330 neutral and I'm going to take my foundation brush. Today I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs foundation brush and I'll just bump out a little bit on my arm, my hand and just apply it. And today I'm going to be applying a little bit more because I want a full coverage, kind of heavy coverage on my face. So now after I've applied my foundation, I'm going to be applying my concealer. So today again, I'm going to be using the light beige shade. It's, it's, it's quite a light shade. Uh, it's not actually my skin color. It's slightly lighter than my skin color. And today I'm applying a lot of it because again, today I want my face to look sculpted and all of that. So I'll apply a lot of it here and a little bit on the chin and above the face so i look crazy and i think i'm going to be using my beauty blender it's damp and i'll just pat it okay so you can already see that the face is a little highlighted on some places uh, because i've applied a lighter uh, found uh, concealer. I want to bronze up my face 
So what I'm gonna do is, what I am going to do is, I'm gonna take a big bronzing brush. Uh, and this is the Marc Jacobs bronze brush. I recently bought it and I'm gonna dip into my Marc Jacobs Fantastic uh, bronzer. And I'm gonna lightly warm up my face first. And this is a light color. Uh, today I'm gonna be using a slightly darker um, bronze shade as well. But first I want to make it a little naturally light and then I'm gonna go with a slightly darker one as well. And I'll just take a, maybe a clean blending brush and contour my nose as well. So this looks light and this looks dark. Try to be symmetric, otherwise the nose will look tilted. So a basic bronzing is done. Now I want to take a slightly darker bronze shade. So I have the Kat Von D uh, bronzer and this is in this shade subconscious. It's very dark and I want to use a smaller bronzing brush. So I have the Morphe bronzing brush and I lightly dip into it and just highlight or highlight my cheekbone. So this is so if you see, this is slightly light with the light bronzer and then I'm just contouring a little bit more with the darker bronzer. I just feel it just gives you a natural gradient. Um, so I prefer this way. And I don't do this regularly, but uh, when I have the time, I, I would rather bronze my face this way. And you wanna always uh, bronze upwards, never bronze downwards okay now i have a slightly sh uh, smaller forehead but i still like to bronze my forehead a little bit not too much the bigger your forehead uh, you want to bronze it more to bring it a little down but uh, i don't think i have to do it much just to keep things uniform i don't want a white forehead and, a, and brown cheeks so i just like to bring it all together so I just do a little bit of it and I'm just gonna do it here as well so that it just flows all together um, and my jawline and the nose okay I think we are maxed out I don't want to do too much, but there's some warmth to the face now and you can always build it later. But I think this is the basic structure. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Kat Von D. I forget the name of the shade and I'll put the uh, name in the description box. But this is a light color and what I'll do is I'll just take a beauty blender and I'm going to apply it under the eye. So I'm just going to pack it just to brighten up my under eye because there's bronzer that has gone up so I want it to I want to use it to brighten up my under eye and I'm going to do that here as well wherever you want to highlight you can just use this powder because it's light and then just brush off the rest so I just okay. I think it looks pretty blended now I'm just gonna do my eyebrows now I'm gonna do apply a little bit of eyeshadow underneath so that's why I first applied my concealer now that the concealer is in place I'll apply some more I like I mean eyeshadow underneath my eye I'll take a pencil brush something like this and then again I'm going to dip into my Pat McGrath palette the same colors that I applied on top I think it would be okay to apply it underneath as well and then I'll just take the dark color the dark brown 
and then apply that as well. And I'm gonna dip into the purple color as well and then just apply that here at the corner, not take it all the way ahead. And kind of join this. So that's it. Now I'm gonna take my eyeliner and do all of that and come back. So here I am. Um, so I've put the eyeliner and I put some mascara. I did not put eyeliner here as such. Uh, whatever I put in the inner corner of my eye, it just touched my lower la lower eyelid and it just created a black hue, but I didn't really put any eyeliner at the bottom lid. And then I put eye uh, my mascara and my false lashes and that's about it. So I think it, this looks pretty good. So, but I do want to add some color to my cheeks. So I will take uh, maybe a pink blush pink or peach i think a peach would look much better so i have the natasha denona mini uh, blush and i'm just gonna take my blush brush and dip it to this peach color and i don't want to apply too much just a little color on the cheek that's it okay now of course i need to highlight my face i'll just take my highlighter brush and let's see i am going to first highlight this with the same natasha denona highlighter this is white and i actually used to think that it won't look good on me but recently i've been using it and it just looks amazing it just uh it gives that natural highlight which i really like so that's how it shines and I don't want to over highlight my face because my eyes are already glittering too much. So I want that shine, but I don't want it to be too much. I don't know if you can see the highlight. I think it just gives that slightly wettish look without too, be, being too overwhelming. And I'll do the same for my nose and my lip. And a little bit on my forehead. And that's it. I don't want to highlight too much today. And so I think, I mean, maybe later I change my mind and I apply a little bit more. But so far, I think it looks nice. Now, for the lips. So I am um, wearing white. I am, I For now, I have these tiny earrings. Um, this is not what I have in mind for the final look. But let's say I were to wear this tiny earring. So I would actually uh, apply maybe say a dark lipstick. So I have two shades. Um, one is the Sephora liquid lipstick and it's in the shade 42. And this one is Rubino by Stila. And let me swatch these for you. And I think these will look good as well. So uh, this is this rich maroon shade. And the other one is the 42. And this one is so kind of similar. Um, so I, this one is much richer. I think I want I don't want it to be too rich, maybe on top, but for starters, I'll apply this. One more thing. I think I want to put some highlighter on top of my eye so I'll just the same Pat McGrath palette there's a white color there and I'll just apply that and the corner of my eye as well this is how this looks <laughs> and I really like the dark lipstick as well and let's see if I apply the Stila one on top how that looks so. and even this looks good and of course you have to remember if you apply this lipstick you need a little bit more blush much better now that's the first lipstick combination I think this looks pretty hot too <laughs> And now what I have in mind is uh, 
pretty extreme jewelry actually let me show you a couple of months ago uh, in preparation for Eid I got these filigree earrings Hyderabadi earrings and I got this neck piece as well so I actually want to wear this and if I wear this I think the lips will look too much maybe so let's try it on so that's how it looks I think it looks pretty amazing I am absolutely loving this look I think I look like uh, Rekha uh, the actress um, because she's always in this dark lipstick and white and gold kanji varams uh, in award shows and I just I'm getting that feeling so it's actually looking really good but it, this lipstick is a little dark for me especially because it's summer so I would prefer a lighter shade uh, even though this looks good so if I were to wear this in the winters I would probably wear this lipstick but for the summertime and especially because it's sweating and then all the lipstick smudges all over the face and I don't like that so I will switch into a lighter lipstick so let me wipe this off and come back and then we'll apply the lighter one so I'm back um, so I did apply a little bit of uh, concealer on my lips because it the dark lipstick left a little bit of pigment on my lips so one thing I want to say is that um, if you're into it you could just apply a little bit of gloss on your lips so I'll just apply that and show you and this is just a neutral skin colored um, gloss that I have and this is from Pat McGrath and you could just go for this or you could apply a matte lipstick so I think I want something neutral but not too light so I think I'll go with the Pat McGrath Omi shade so this is it's got some color but it's not that dark and it's not that light either and also sometimes I mean if you want a little bit of uh, shine on the lips I have this Jouer, Jouer, Jouer um, lip topper and I'll just apply that a little bit on the lip just for that shiny lip and that's it so this is like a lighter look and I feel like I need a little bit of highlighter because the lipstick is light so I'll go into my uh, Dior highlighter and pick up the golden shade and apply a little bit of shine to the face just because I am into that white and gold look and I have a light lipstick so just for that extra shine and that's it so let me show you up close so that's how the final look is and I absolutely love these earrings um, and the necklace. I mean, I wanted to go all in, so I wore the necklace as well. Otherwise, usually I end up wearing just the earrings or just the neck piece. Um, but that's that's the look I have and I had in mind, and so this is it. All right, so here we are, all decked up for this amazing festival of Eid. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me and I hope you eat uh, the most amazing food and enjoy this wonderful day and have fun with your friends and family. And until the next time we meet, bye.